Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, April 14th, day one of VGM Con. I survived last night. I didn't get a lot of sleep, but I got enough to survive. Also, I don't like how that turned out. Let's go fix that. Let's go fix the hair. I thought that was gonna be good, but I, I forgot my flat comb. I got my flat comb at home. So I made a point to bring this one. No, well, looks a little better. I like this style, I like this style. Um, I did a little research uh, this morning about the hotel and it turns out their AC isn't broken. They're not turning it on and there's a, actually a fairly good reason for that. It's kind of bullshit, but it's actually a good reason. They use an outdated system. They use a system that one, one HVAC unit that chills the entire building. One unit, whole building. It will take like three to four days for it to actually work. So for them to turn on now, not gonna happen. Especially when you consider tonight it's supposed to get down to the 40s and it might stay there. Last forecast I saw for this area. Let's look at what, what it is right now. It is 79 now. So, up 78. High of 81 today. Gusty winds out of the south. Tonight, 46. Rain, rain coming in. And then it's not going to warm up too much tomorrow. So it, won't, it, may, it may not even hit 50. And then possible snow overnight Saturday into Sunday. I hate everything. And then warming right back up to near 60 degrees a couple days later. Spring in the upper Midwest is weird, man. No, what this place needs to do is they, they need to update that badly. They need to get that, that system updated. Because um, I don't know if y'all had spring in the upper Midwest, but uh, it can be a little... Yeah. Spring in the upper Midwest can be a little bit of a problem. Spring in the upper Midwest can be sometimes non-existent. Spring in the upper Midwest, um, to be fair, winter likes to just kind of, winter likes to hang on as long as possible up here. So the calendar will say spring, but once the calendar says spring, you've got at least one more snow, more than likely. And if you don't, you are lucky. You are absolutely lucky. So what's going to happen today is water, a lot of it. Um, I'm probably going to go grab some lunch soon. I don't know if it'll be on site or if I'll go walk to the nearby area. Where's my clip? There's my clip. I found my phone clip, by the way. It was in one of the box. Was in a box. I put stuff in, and I just didn't recognize what it was. Um, going to registration. And then I want to check around the convention to see what's going on. So, um, yeah, it's VGM Con. Let's go. Badge get. There it is. Got the badge. We are go for VGM Con. <sighs> I am checking this place out. If nothing else, I'm going to explore and see what we can do here. It's a lot cooler than it was yesterday, but we'll see what the rest of the, the, rest of the day goes. See you in a bit. So, there's still an awful lot of things they're still working on setting up. It's time to get outside and enjoy some of this weather. I'm actually going to walk to grab some lunch somewhere. If I can find where lunch is. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a walk. <sighs> Rehearsal at 5 tonight. I think it's five. I have to check the email. Um, and then, little, little Robin. Little Robin. You know, those guys are plentiful throughout the entire year, but springtime, springtime is usually when you're really happy to see them. Outside, take that off. 
Um, yeah, they're still working on setting up everything. Ah, get off my hand. They're still working on setting up a lot of things. So, like I said, I'm getting out and getting some air, maybe some food. The problem is this hotel is a bit off the beaten path. So if I want to get some food, I may need to go get the car and drive. I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, it was nice. Uh, you know, like, it was, the registration was good, but it seemed disorganized. And everyone, they're like, pre-registered pre in this line. There's no one in that line. VIP in this line. No one in that line either. Um, and they said presenters what was it presenters uh performers panelists etc in this line and i got into that line which is the same line everyone else was in oh staff members as well what they did not say was that there's apparently a special presenter badge which um no. <laughs> There's a special presenter badge. Which I don't have. I have just a weekend badge. Which is fine. I actually don't care. But, you know, if you say something and then that's not true, that's a problem. My weekend is not starting off great. We had the experience at the hotel to start. It's actually beautiful outside. It's gorgeous. Right around 80 degrees. I'm trying to see how far I can walk here before I run out of the sidewalk. Um, but I can't hold, I can't hold everyone responsible for like what happens on day one or hour one. You know, we're still trying to get things going. We're still trying to get things into a, into a rhythm here. Um, so, my jury's still out on the convention, obviously. Nothing's going on yet. I can't really say, you yeah, know, it's good, or, eh, it's okay, it's local. It's local-ish to me. Instead of being a 13-hour drive, it's four. Oh, yeah. See, we're, we're very much off the bend. Like, there's, there's no... You can kind of see civilization, but uh, you don't really see any businesses. I don't see any businesses, do you? Sure as hell don't. I know they're nearby, but we are definitely a bit off the beaten path, as I said many, many times. So... Yeah, let's go see uh, what we can find for food and go from there. And if it gets too boring, we'll try and see if we can edit a vlog on, on, on the road. And if I can, hot damn. I should be able to. It's a question of whether or not my system can handle the program. I remember this being a bit of a walk. That's good. That's good, I need a walk anyway exercise and yes before anyone asks I took my pill today that'll be part of my accountability I will say on the vlog if I took my pill and if I didn't hopefully someone comes out and says hey did you forget your pill on this day and hopefully I turn around and go no I'm good I just forgot to say on the vlog I took it yesterday as I, I think I already mentioned that on the vlog took it today so far I haven't experienced any side effects which is good it's great but uh yeah oh shit it is windy that means it's probably gonna be really hard for you guys to hear me isn't it well i'm gonna turn it off i'll see you guys at lunch red robin yum sorry i had to obligatory you go to red robin you have to do that uh, finished that up, had the uh, 
southern glaze, southern southern hospitality, whatever the fuck it is. It was a burger. It was it was good, although it was a little lacking on the glaze. I thought they were gonna have it was supposed to be some sort of brown sugar glaze, I guess. I didn't really taste that. So, oh well, let me just not be there. Heading back to the convention. Um, I actually noticed something about rehearsal tonight. Rehearsal goes from five until seven. That's a problem. Because my show is at 6.45. Reached out to the, uh, I did reach out to the director and said, hey, um, you know, I, I know we're supposed to be at rehearsal the whole way, the whole time, but uh, I don't think it's gonna work for me. Do you want me to go to rehearsal tonight? Also, I didn't print off any of the music because I didn't see a tuba part. And, uh, I mean, obviously I'm gonna be playing something, I just don't know what. I figure I'll double a bass part or something. So it'll be fun. I'm actually really excited for uh, the orchestra clinic. So I got that tonight. I know I keep updating on the schedule, but not much has changed yet. Give it time, it will. And I've got to walk back to the hotel. I think it's about half a mile, is my guess. I think half a mile. And this time I'm gonna take just campus drive the whole way. Uh, and go from there. So, lots more still to come today. See you in a bit. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Trivia Night. It is uh, Friday, 6.45 at Panels 2 at VGM Con. It is time for some VGM trivia. How is everyone doing tonight? My name is Scott. I'm your host for next. For next. I, I almost said a couple of hours. We're not here for a couple of hours. I don't have that kind of time. They only give you. They only give you 50 minutes. So it's like well, we're gonna. We're gonna make this this uh, show cook. Uh, if you never played this game before, this game is very simple. I'm asking just 10 questions. Uh, real, real simple. Uh, how to play the game. So I've given you guys all. A, there's like a big game sheet you guys have. Kind of way for you for you to keep track of your own stuff. Uh, you have the, uh, you have, of course, your pen and your little answer booklet. That's where I need your answers to come from. You'll, on, on that little answer booklet, I will need three uh, very important things on each one of your answer sheets. First and foremost, I need to know who to give points to. So that's that number that I wrote down that's already on the very first page of your answer booklet. Just take care of the rest of them. Don't write the whole booklet because if you have any left, I probably want to reuse that for a later show. Secondly, I need to know how many points to give you. If you look at the top of each round on your little game sheet, you'll see four point values correspond with the four questions for each round. You can use those in any order you'd like. You can use those once and only once per round. And lastly, I just need your answer. Hopefully that's the correct one. That only needs to get to me by the end of each song. End of the game, we're tying the points together and we're giving away no prizes, but you get to be, you can, you can say, Fine, bye. <laughs> See ya, Carlos. See ya. Can I actually miss one of those game sheets? The big ones? Yeah. You didn't get one? If you're not signed up yet, come up and see me. I'll take it. 
I do have very few rules, even though there are no prizes, I do still have very few rules here for trivia. They're, they're so important, I do put them at the very top of your game sheet. Um, oh, I should note, there's a little uh, quirk about the score. So you notice there's four point values, and there's one value that's like, everything else is you know all together, and there's one that kind of is higher. The top point value, wherever, um, where you use that could affect how many points you get or possibly lose. If you use that in the fr earlier on in the round, get it right, you get all the points in the, in the first three questions of each round. Get it wrong, you lose those points. The other, the other point value is you get it right, you get it right, get the points. Get it wrong, you don't lose anything, it's fine. That top point value though is different. If you save that for the very last question, you don't lose anything, but you only get half of those points. A little scoring quirk. That's all put on the very right side of that sheet if you have any questions about that. You can also come up and see me if you have a question about things. Um, like I said, I do have very few rules here on the, tri on the trivia show. If you have any, um, and they're so important, I put them at the very top of your sheet, so please roughly follow along. I think I wrote that for a, uh, a Discord thing. Uh, rule number one, there is absolutely no cheating. So put away the cellular phones, de devices, reference materials, smartwatches, encyclopedia, Britannica's laptop, computers, etc., etc. You can use the power of your brain or the other brains uh, on your team. That's it, and that's all. Please do not shout out any answers. That's a very tiny room, so just kind of be quiet with your own team. If you're playing by yourself and you're shouting out an answer, that's a problem. That might be a problem. Um, one answer per team. Once you. Um, and it's gonna be, we're going to give about two minutes or so. It says three to four up there. It's going to be about two minutes because we are short on time. Uh, one answer per team. Once you, t uh, once you turn that in, there is no turning back. Decision of the MC, that's me, by the way, is final. We are going to get right into the very first round. Your first round point value is going to be eight, five, three, and one. Eight, five, three, and one. Good for round number one. Again, use those point values in any order you like. And here are your categories for round number one. Awards. Album links, lyrics, and composers. Once again, awards, album links, lyrics, and composers. Here's your first question, category of awards. We'll do one at a time, I promise. We'll do one at a time. Awards, and it's a tough one. The title game for, the title theme for which game won the 2011 Grammy Award for best arrangement, instrumentals, and vocals? Again, the title theme for which game, looking for the game, won the 2011 Grammy Award for Best Arrangement, Instrumentals, and Vocals. Again, if you know it, and you're like, yeah, I know this pos positive, you put whatever, put, put the higher point value. If you don't know it, take a guess anyway, put a lower value on it. That was a fun day. It's nice in my room right now because it's actually pretty cool outside. It's like 50. <sighs> Trivia went very, very well. We had nine teams, about 20 people. Some of that's gonna end up in the vlog. My camera only recorded about half of the show and then it said, I'm too hot and shut off. Thanks, GoPro. Um. No, show went very, very well, and then I end up running into Kirby Volt. Kirby Volt actually won. He actually won the trivia show. Um, we hung out for a little bit, uh, saw some of Mushroom someone, someone Mushroom, I forgot who it was. Future self, put that in, please, because I forgot. I forgot who it is. Um, but yeah, uh, we saw that, and then, uh, what else did we see? That's pretty much it. And then we actually ended up going out to dinner because I ate lunch and then when I got back here, worked on trivia. And then from there, five o'clock went to orchestra, uh, the orchestra thing, which was great. I loved, that was fun. Um, and then went to, Jesus, just noticed that. That's terrible. Um, then went to uh, trivia. It was trivia time. Uh, before that, uh, we actually got out of orchestra rehearsal uh, early. Only went, only went about an hour, which is great. Um, instead of being the two hours that was listed. So I got to stick around for the whole thing, and ugh, I'm the only bass instrument in the group. So I get all the bass parts. Great. Um, I thought about going to a thing tonight, and I, I still don't know. I'm, my stomach's been not feeling really well this evening. Um, got back from dinner, which was at uh, 
uh, Broadway Pizza and Bar, which is uh, great. Uh, Broadway the Broadway Pizza is really good. I'm bringing some of it home. Uh, they do all kinds of styles of like they do deep dish. They do not deep dish. Um, the pizza is great. Uh, KV treated, which is awful nice of him. Thank you so much, KV, for uh, for treating me to uh, that. Um, I did buy some stuff. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do short and tell. Let me get out the tripod, because we're doing show and tell now. I got some stuff, you guys. All right, cool, perfect. It's actually set up really nicely. Um, first and foremost, I got a new shirt. See, VGM Con shirt. The back's actually pretty sweet, too, because it's got the, uh, the, the song Time Wheel, which is pretty cool, and the VGM Con logo, and... Um, this other stuff. I don't know what these other three things are. Two things are in the thing, but yeah. The the theme this year is Oops All Zelda. So, of course, they're going to have the Oops All Zelda and the VGM Con hat. I have the new Link hat. It's green. I'd like it to be purple. Um, this here is actually really cool. This is the main thing I actually wanted. I had bought some other stuff because I wanted to get something else. Uh, this is a brand new mouse pad which is super nice, super nice. I like, it's, this is really good. I, this is what I wanted, um, mostly. So thanks to VGM Con for that. Um, of course, got a pin, got a patch, probably for my, uh, my metal dude vest, and I got a sticker. Um, and buying that stuff, I got enough stuff to where they gave me a little notebook. So, um, I have not been to the expo hall yet. Uh, they closed at 8, so that was not going to happen. Um, there's been a number of things I've wanted to do tonight, and I just haven't, uh, because either I was at dinner or I've been... <laughs> st again, my stomach has been doing things. I don't know what, what's going on. Um, hopefully that kind of stops. I'm guessing a combination of the... Uh, my guess is it's a combination of the um, environment... As, as it were, because I'm, I'm hot. Like, this hotel is warm. And having the window open... Oh my god, the window open is so nice right now. <laughs> mm, excuse me. I've been drinking a lot of water today. Um, yeah, I've been drinking a lot of water. Sucking down water. Just a lot of water. Um, I think I've done that bottle like three times. That's one of, it's like a, I think it's a 32-ounce bottle, so I've done, I've done a lot of water. Um, sp spaced out, not all in one go, just spaced out. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, not much else going on. Um, I might do some other stuff tonight. I might not. I might just call it a night and just chill in the room. Uh, there's not a lot going on this evening. There is going on right now, there's a Cards Against Humanity tournament, which started at 11. After that, there is a um, uh, it's a kind of an arrangement randomizer, as, as it were. They're like trying to make an arrangement on the fly. Um, I might do that going to the jam clinic, uh, but I'll need to get my horn first, which is uh, currently locked in the orchestra clinic room. Uh, yeah, there's not much else I really want to do tonight. I think I'm gonna call the vlog here. Uh, day two of VGM Con is tomorrow. Um, I just have the one thing that I have to go to at five o'clock, which is m more rehearsal. Um, Carlos is on tomorrow night. Tiggs is on tomorrow night. Although I think Tiggs is in the middle of rehearsal, I might try and go to that and say, "Hey, y'all, I'm sorry, I got a dip. Tiggs is Tiggs is performing. I want to go see her perform because she's awesome." Um, anyway, um, as I said, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, we will see you all in the next one. Go this one. Take care, everyone.